My office sent to you spy satellite photos that showed that WMDs could be hidden in caves that you never responded to. We uh, analyzed those photos, Mr. Vice President, and they are actually trenches, watering holes for cattle. That is the movie W, talking about WMDs and the build-up to the war. But what would have happened if there had been a cabinet member from the Department of Peace in those discussions? Would we have gone to war with Iraq? Maybe not. Back with our fabulous guests, Sherry Jacobus, Republican strategist and president of Capital Strategies PR, and Zara Buck, Democratic strategist and counsel for Capital Council. But we begin with one of the leaders of the campaign to get a Department of Peace, Wendy Green. Wendy, of course, as we all know, we have a Department of Defense, which prepares and executes wars. So how would a Department of Peace work? What exactly would it do? Well, the Department of Peace would be a cabinet-level position that would allow us to launch a strategic, scientifically-based approach to reducing and preventing violence in the United States as well as abroad. So essentially, uh, going back to that example we just used, if you were deciding uh, whether or not to go to war with Iraq, you would have a cabinet member in there arguing the case that, hey, maybe war is not the answer. I think you'd have a cabinet member in there saying, here are some alternatives, here are some things we haven't tried yet, here are ways that we can work with these people that may allow us the capacity to avoid this war. And if these things don't work, now we still have the tools that we need if we do indeed need to bring violence. But the focus is, how do we resolve the conflict before it erupts into violence? Now, Sherry Jacobus, uh, you're a Republican. Now that we have a Democratic president coming in and a Democratic Congress, this is actually a bill in Congress. Do you think it has a chance of passage? And would you support a Department of Peace? It has no chance of passage. I doubt it even gets a hearing. You'll never get a committee markup. Uh, you don't have bipartisan support. I'd be surprised if Nancy Pelosi, even though she's pretty much on the far left, if she wanted to bring this up, it would embarrass the party. It would almost ensure that there would be a Republican majority. We have a Department of Peace. It's called the Pentagon, Army, Navy, <laughs> Air Force, Marine. Uh, and if you start bringing in some, it's my understanding that this ridiculous piece of legislation also would require that the Secretary of Peace be consulted by Department of Defense, State Department, the President, whomever, before the United States can engage in military exchanges. Well, 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 this is frightening listen, and I, ridiculous. And to answer your why question, why is has peace zero ridiculous? Chance. Why is peace, peace is not ridiculous? <laughs> Well, uh, every I time you bring up the idea of peace, that. I mean, to me, war is ridiculous. It kills yeah. people. Uh, Why well, is not I, killing people and, and finding a way to have a peaceful revolution? I don't think that anybody is suggesting that well, peace me, is ridiculous. Well, I think well, what we're suggesting is that the Department of Defense is the proper and proven uh, entity no, for peace. But it, I disagree. I totally disagree. And for conflict. Okay, let's let Zara jump I, in. Here. I totally disagree. Let me start by saying, first of all, the days of cowboy diplomacy are over, and thank heavens for that. The reality is, is that Barack Obama will have his hands full in this new administration, and here's why. We have to restore our credibility in the international community. We have to restore our diplomacy and our diplomatic efforts, and that all goes through the State Department. So it's not just the Pentagon that has a responsibility, as um, as Sherry has stated. It's certainly the State Department. Zara, and, do you think we should well, have a Department of Peace? Actually, I do not, and, and here's why. Although I commend the efforts, um, I, I certainly believe that if we restore our diplomatic efforts to the State Department, that that is where it is properly placed. We only have I, we only have a couple of seconds. Look, we've had a State Department and a Pentagon and the Defense Department for eons, and we still wage war. That and we, we have so, and we also have not been attacked. Let Let Wendy make her argument. Wendy, you know, some, argument. Something that actually might be very interesting to your viewers is to look at some remarks that Secretary of Defense Robert Gates has recently been making. He has been actually the most articulate person in Washington today calling for an expansion of what he refers to as our soft power and the fact that our military in fact is being asked to do a job that is not their job that they are not trained for and that we need to expand this capacity he himself has called for new structures in the government now I'm not saying he supports a Department of Peace don't he misunderstand doesn't. okay but what is important to recognize is the need he's discussing we, is something that could be filled by a department right. we have to end it there but let me just say discussing we're a out of time function and a whole separate bureaucracy but but I have to say that peace and the discussion of a department peace should no longer be ridiculous. That's called evolution.